What's up, y'all? It's your girl, S to the C, Scorpio, S to the C, Twerk Goddess. And today I want to talk about my reaction to the Kai Sanat allegations of the R word in SA. Now, this is a very serious subject matter. And, um, you know, if someone has experienced SA or R, the R word, um, I would encourage you to have a self-care plan for after this video because it may be triggering. So, you know, I know a lot of people have experienced the R word or um, SA. And it's something that we don't really talk about on these platforms in the sense of, you know, how it affects people, um, the perpetrator, and, you know, what type of challenges they're dealing with to even act out on that type of behavior in the first place. And then, um, you know, the victims and everyone involved. So with this Kai Sanat or K Sanat situation, um, Kai Sanat, <laughs> Um, it's very serious and it's not just serious for the person that experienced this horrific event, if it is in fact true, because, you know, with cases like this, they're considered allegations until the truthful findings come out in court. Now, um, allegedly this incident happened in New York, New York, the state of New York, and there, um, for rape sentences, there is a five-year minimum and 25-year maximum. So we're looking at some serious charges. We're looking at some possibly serious convictions if this is in fact true. So um, one of the things about it is you'll get different perspectives online on social media. And what's unfortunate is a lot of times people victim blame, victim shame. And we could go down that rabbit hole. So quickly, ladies, if you're invited to a mansion party, this is just a FYI. Um, try to protect yourselves, okay? Um, you're in someone's mansion in the hills. More than likely, they're an influencer or a celebrity or someone in Hollywood that has a lot of money, they have a lot of resources. So, um, you know, a lot of times they ask for people to drop their phones in the bucket. You have to protect yourself. So if you are invited to a mansion party, um, and you know, women being young and just adventurous and spontaneous, they'll take the invite, you know, they'll be excited about it and they'll show up. And the flip side to that is nobody's a Buddhist monk <laughs> and nobody's a nun. So you can only use your imagination to think like, okay, after the drinks and, you know, after everybody that's not spending the night goes home, what do you expect to happen? So this is an unfortunate thing because it may sound like I'm victim shaming. However, we as women, you know, we have to use discernment. We have to assess situations and we have to be smart about situations. So again, when you're at a mansion party, basically anything goes. Now, there's no rule that says that, but common sense will tell you that Whoever invited you is a well-to-do entertainer, celebrity, sports figure. They're in the business. And if they're inviting you over, I know this is unfortunate, but nine times out of ten, they going to think you with the turn up. Especially if you're known to have revealing pictures on your social media, if you have an OnlyFans, if you're a stripper... Um, you know, if you're in certain types of work, um, for women, unfortunately, it will be perceived that you're with the turn up. You at the mansion party It's it's past midnight. A real lady would be home before midnight. And what's unfortunate is that guys would applaud this type of behavior and encourage it. But deep down in their hearts, they're looking at women that participate in this type of activities. They're looking at them a certain type of way. 
Um, most of these women will never be considered like wifey material and they're considered a flip back in my day they was called flips <laughs> and what's interesting is that some women are okay with that you know some women know what time it is when they go you know when they get the invite and they show up at the mansion party some women know what time it is and some don't so that's the unfortunate part another thing is um a lot of times when people are in this circle, you know, um, they may not know everybody. So uh, according to the story of the young lady, um, Jovi Pena, um, who is alleging that she was um, assaulted at Kai Sinai's mansion, she wouldn't know all the attendees at his party. He's saying that he didn't even know all the attendees at her party. So, um that's another thing that's kind of sketchy, you know, because there's all these people. And then, you know, after hours where it's the after party, after the after party. And I think I talked about this in one of my videos because this actually happened to one of my friends. Well, I ended up leaving and I wasn't going to leave her. So she had to come with me. But she was upset that, um, you know, we were leaving. And I'm like, it's three o'clock in the morning. What the fuck you think about to go down? So I was out of there. I wasn't playing that. But um, I did share that story. I don't know if the video is still up. But um, at those hours, it's nothing going on that's uh, happy, positive. Y'all not praying. You know, y'all not doing meditation. Uh, <laughs> you're not doing yoga. So it's best to just be smart and not put yourself in that situation. Although you should, as a woman, you know, you should feel safe um, if a guy invites you out, but that's not the reality of the world we live in. It isn't such thing as the Bill Cosby effect. You know, um, some men cannot control their sexual desires. They see a beautiful young lady, um, maybe an Instagram model, or maybe she is doing OnlyFans. Maybe she is a stripper. Maybe she is a streetwalker. Who knows? But that doesn't mean um, that you could take advantage of her as a male, um, dominating that situation, being physically... Um, capable of you know doing that horrendous act so um ladies have to be careful and men also have to be much smarter because 25 years maximum that's a long time and um for kai sanat he may not have been involved we don't know all that information will come out in the details uh, when they do the discovery of the case however um it happened at his house so he could possibly be culpable culpable um liable um he could possibly be an accessory we just don't know all the details of the case but this is very scary um not only for the person that may have experienced that but also for the people that are involved you're talking about 25 years maximum in new york so let's not act like there's not a such thing as people lacing drinks we've been hearing about this you know since forever um bill cosby was um convicted on these types of charges similar charges because he wanted and he did stand up admitting that you know he laced people's drinks with spanish fly and roofies and you know it's not a laughing matter it's not a joke it's nothing comical about a woman being assaulted and because this woman is going to probably have to go to therapy. Um, allegedly, she went, according to her stories on social media, she went to um, the authorities. Um, she went to the hospital. And one thing about forensic forensics is that they're, they are admissible in court. So her going, that was very smart on her behalf. It kind of corroborates her story and kind of authenticates her story and ver verifies and validates her story. So uh, for anyone saying, you know, she's making this up or, you know, she's lying. And we get that a lot. You know, when people are young, successful and black and they're on the come up, you know, some people may say, oh, well, that was an agent. This is the Matrix. You know, we've seen the Andrew Tate story. We've seen all these stories, R. Kelly everybody's not making it up everybody's not trying to sabotage someone's career although it is likely that someone could do that the flip side to that is that she could be criminally liable for making a false report she could be crim criminally liable for making a false claim or false accusations especially about something so serious so before we 
start picking and choosing sides because that's our man and you know he's a millionaire and he's the number one streamed content creator in 2020 for 2022 sometimes you got to remove the emotions and you know look at the facts and i'm not sure that we know all the facts because it is social media but um it's important not to just take sides and automatically assume that you know women are gold diggers and you know she's trying to set him up and you know um whenever a good black man is rising to the top you know it's always going to be something yeah that's why you have to watch the circle you have to watch the people that you hang around because they could be the cause of your demise and your downfall and so um as it pertains to going to these types of mansion parties and um not leaving with the party that you came with that's unacceptable ladies if you go to a mansion party or any type of party with your friends it's imperative that you make sure that that person returns to you you know um predators are on the rise you know it is an increase in these types of assaults and it's not to be taken lightly so um you know men have to go to therapy and do things to work on their sexual desires and why they're so um impulsive and and why they can't take rejection so that those are deeper issues that um men and some women need to work on and um so that's just my reaction to that um one last thing i wanted to share is that um even if let's just say she was with it because i have to play both sides so you guys could see the seriousness seriousness of this so even if she was the turn up queen and she's on only fans and she's a stripper or a sex worker even if she was all that that still does not give anyone the right to assault her physically in that manner you know what i'm saying and um no means no so ladies tell your sons nephews cousins uncles no means no and let them know the severity of the uh criminal charges that are involved now what's unfortunate um he went he went to social media with it and you know tried to like clear up his name if he had nothing to do with it, um, I understand the pressure because you do have fans and now they're looking at you sideways. You know, I had um, come across his page and I was just like, before this happened. And I was like, wow, um, number one streamer in 2022, black guy, young, you know, successful, um, getting his money, you know. And that's something to be applauded. But at the same time, you can't be out here wilding out. You know, you have to have discipline even from the people that you associate yourself with. I don't care if it's a childhood friend. I don't care if it's a high school friend. I don't even care if it's family. You have to watch your circle because you could be liable for their actions, even though you probably wasn't in the vicinity. You, you know, you're not that person. You're not thinking for them. So it's looking real sketchy for cuz and it's unfortunate, but even if she was down with the get down and later changed her mind, fellas, she could be down with the get down. You know, the party come and she turned up and she twerking and thotting and then she changes her mind. You got to respect that. You, It is still considered assault. Even if y'all in the middle of it, y'all could be in the middle of it. And she says, you know what? No. You got to respect that. Because if not, it could be considered sexual assault. So I just wanted to share that with y'all. That's my reaction to it from um, not just like a personal viewpoint, but also from the legal aspect or the criminal aspect. Um, these are very serious charges and hopefully his team, his legal team can, you know, guide him, you know, on how to handle this. But this is really serious and we can't just say, oh, they're trying to take him down because he's rising to the top. It could be that, but it also could be what she's saying. It could be the truth, you know, um, so that's my take on it. That's my reaction to it. Y'all be safe out here. We we barely in the first week of 2023 and it's already a lot. So, you know, you got to keep your eyes open, stay focused and stay out the way. And sometimes you may have to cut down and limit the amount of parties that you having. And sometimes you might have to fall back on your circle just to protect your name, your brand, your wealth your future and your career so with that being said it's your girl s to the c scorpio s to the c twerk goddess shout out on my east side babies and i'll be back